Hey guys, um, it's Thursday, so I'm gonna record you all a message. Um, so this week, uh, pretty good. Today, class was canceled because of the Joe Paterno um, memorial, but we still do an online class, which is actually probably longer than <laughs> the real class would have been, but it was okay. Um, Today, I'm going on a run in like 10 minutes and then yoga after that. Yesterday, I went to tea club for the first time and it was pretty cool. Um, they set out like 20 symbol size, uh, like that tall, um, little tea cups and they kept brewing tea and they fill it up and uh the first time we just drank it like it it was a thimbleful so we took the whole thing in a sip and there's this weird kid at the end of the table doing like like three times three steps and they were like that's actually how you're supposed to do it like you're supposed to slurp it really loudly because it makes it taste better and it breaks all the ester bonds so <laughs> we'd do that it was so awkward, like, we just couldn't look at each other without laughing. Um, Heather made me go. I was kind of unsure about it, but the people actually, they're really cool. And so I think, I think we might stick with it. I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh, Joe's birthday was Monday. Um, so... I have to find something to get him. Ah, I'm not going to see you. Okay, okay, <laughs> tech troubles. Um, yeah, so I went out shopping for him with Heather, and everything I went to buy him was too expensive, so I ended up taking like 20 or 30 pictures on my phone of stuff I would buy if I wasn't such a poor college student, and I think that might end up being his present. I definitely do want to get him something though. Something not lame. Um, but we will see. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Okay. For cheap things. I totally make him something, but I don't have any art supplies up here besides, like, copy paper and pens and pencils. Uh, let's see. I went to a cooking lesson yesterday. <laughs> it was fun. It was at a church in town. Um, okay, so I gotta tell you the story because it's like fate. It's so weird. Um, back in the fall, Heather and I were just walking down the street and earlier that day we were looking through this coupon book that we found and we saw this coupon for free coffee at the Ava Java Coffee House. So we were like, free coffee, that's awesome. We have to go there. So I actually took the little coupon out and put it in my wallet, and that night we were walking down the street and it started to rain, like super, super hard, um, and we ran down the street, we actually were kind of lost, and we just saw this light, and it was the Ava Java Coffee House sign, and we were like, oh my gosh, it's fate, we have to go here, and we went in, and they were like, like we showed them the coupon, we were like, we have a coupon for free coffee, can we get some? And they were like, oh, it's actually free all the time, because it's like a church sponsored thing, I guess. Um, so we had some free coffee and warmed up, and they told us about cooking classes on Wednesdays. So we went <laughs> last Wednesday, and it was pretty cool. Like, we made French toast, and... They asked us what we wanted to make this week, and we said pumpkin soup, because <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Um, so hopefully that turns out good. The people were kind of scary, though. <laughs> like, the guy was really weird. The cookie instructor, she was kind of scary, and, like, she kept yelling at Heather, and, like, Heather poured in too much milk, and then she kept talking about how there was no much, or no milk left, and so that was kind of awkward. But... It was funny too. Um, yeah. <laughs> ah, good times. Um, 
morning. Bad thing this week. Let me think. Uh Oh I can't even think of it. Well, I kind of got in trouble with my RA just because she's such a mean person, <laughs> and she's so unfair. Um, she's just a swear word. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. But whatever, it all worked out <laughs> then. Um, so that's definitely the bad thing for this week. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What am I looking forward to? Oh, things I'm looking forward to this week or this weekend. Um, I might be going to a race tomorrow. Like I haven't decided yet. I kind of want to play volleyball, but uh. I think most of my friends would rather do that. We'll see. I'm not sure what it will be like. My brother said it's a lot of... I don't know. <laughs> he didn't make it sound that fun. But, I don't know. Uh, uh, okay, sorry. I just got a text. Um, yeah, I'm going on a run like right now. Oh, crap. Okay. I always text one person when I go on a run. If they don't text back in like two minutes, I text the next person and then I keep going on like that. Or if they say no, I text the next person. Um, but then I get people who text me back in like three minutes after I've already texted someone else. They're saying yes. And, uh, I'm just going to the show. Whoops! <laughs> Oh my gosh, my phone. It messes me up. Okay. This is getting really long. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling. We do that. Um. I promise I'll post a shorter, more focused video next time. Our speech teacher keeps talking about, um, focus and how we're supposed to stay on topic on our speeches, and I'm definitely not doing a good job today. Oh, and I painted my nails. Kinda ugly. <laughs> It's gold glitter. I don't know. I started the year with pale lavender and pale taupes and pale clear pinks. And I ended up with sparkly gold. Uh, this is bad. Um, but anyway, yeah. I will talk to you guys later. Love you all. Um, bye.